it's been a lovely day today sun's been out clear blue skies so i've done my brasses now there's a big doom cloud every time every time it i do my brasses it rains now you could say well why don't you look at the weather app chris well i did just can't believe it it's gonna rain it's raining again i've done my brasses again oh, every time every time don't know. big day today i'll tell you why it's a big day i'm going into milton keynes and i thought i instead of going into milton keynes like a boater i'm going to go into milton keynes like a human being i've got my pink shirt on sunny day sunglasses a minapa hat, a jaunty angle, skater boy look. What about this look? Geography teacher, I think. You know, I've got my patches, patches on the arms. Geography teacher look. I'm not sure what hat that goes with, or maybe just, you know, suave and sophisticated look as I am. Horse and hounds. Leather type effect of flat cap with, oh, it's even got a silk liner look. Maybe the wrong time of year, but I quite like. Oh, I like this look. I waxed it not so long ago actually. I've had to hang it up in the old drying room for a long time to soak up all the wax. Jumper over the over the shoulder number with shades. You can see I'm probably quite excited about going into town and I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. Well, not to shop, but just to have a look around and, and look human being like instead of scruff order that I have, have looked actually since July last year. Anyway, looking for a nice day with a nice sunshine and the boat's nice and warm at 20 degrees at 10 to 12 and I haven't put the heating on. Wonder if anyone else is dressed like me. <laughs> I doubt it. Anyway, Bridge to cross, Milton Keynes to go to and have a look around and have a look in some shops. I can smell food. It smells lovely. Clearly some open air sort of thing going on today if you like that type of music and that sort of thing I'm a bit old for that now Keynes Theatre. Oh, I've not had a takeaway. In fact, I've had one pizza and that was at uh, Burkhamsted since July. And I, all I can do is smell food. Oh, to be honest, I've, I've been, you know, I've eaten out occasionally, but very occasionally. But junk food. Quite nice though. For those of you who have not been to Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Qatar, all those sort of Middle Eastern type countries which have massive shopping malls, very similar. This is in Milton Keynes.
Okay, here we go. I'm back from shopping. Let's move the camera. How's that? Right, here we go. Last of the big spenders. I bought some pants in America. Underpants. I bought five weeks worth. Set of five. Now, I saw some. It was three for 26 quid. You're having a laugh, and I didn't realise underwear was so expensive. You can probably tell the last time I bought some underwear. I bought five for 25. Five pound each, and even that's expensive. Well, at least I thought it was. And I bought some barber waterproof thingy from a horse and hounds jacket. I waterproofed it not so long ago. I'm going to do it again now. Anyway, that's last of the big spenders. Enjoyable time at uh, Milton Keynes Centre Place, which is just over there. If you've been to Abu Dhabi, Dubai, kind of like that, but without the excessive heat outside. And some of the shops are a little different. Milton Keynes Park Run. Look at them all down there. And there are some good runners at the front. Now, I would class some of these people as, as good club runners. And even this fella here with the twins in his pushchair. Good lad. He's making a grand effort. And there's a slight incline coming up that start. It's a quite tough start, I would have thought. Burning of the old chest. Look at some of these good... Good hobbyist runners, maybe a few club runners. And there's another little pushchair. Let's not forget that some of these are just fun runners. And some of these people, here he is, look, hey, there we go, mate. Nice one, Cyril. Not far to go. It's a place to go out with your kids and your dogs and meet a few people. Take the kids out in the push chair. And some of these people are not clearly runners. They're just out for a run, and I think that's fantastic. Well done, every single one of you, for doing, well, for getting out there, because anyone that even finished at the end has done better than me. Well done. Well done. There's a the mum out there with the kids. The tail end Charlie's. second run of the week I plan to run every other day if the weather's nice and uh, so spring summer autumn until the weather turns I can't I can't I'm not that keen to run in the winter and uh, well maybe and you know if the towpath is concreted which is here which has enticed me out to go for a run and not only that part one in Milton Keynes kind of inspired me actually so there we go fitness fitness is on track but you can only tell after three weeks if it's got a routine in that flower pot is a duck so what? Well, they've been there a while and they're on a 48 hour mooring. They've named the duck Vera. Vera Duckworth. There's a long running TV program called Coronation Street and Vera Duckworth was a key character in Coronation Street. Not there anymore so don't go looking for it but it's back in the, back in the day. And Father Duck's called Jack. 
done with. There's a pub. I stayed here last night. Very noisy pub. I mean, the area's okay if you want to stay here for 48 hours. To stay here longer than 48 hours, well, you know, that's a bit of a tall order, to be honest. Round the corner's nice, round the corner there's nice, but opposite the pub, well, no, that's not so nice. There's nothing they can do. They can't move the boat because the duck's on the flower pot. So they phoned up CRT, and CRT said, oh, you can't move. They said, oh, no, we've looked it up. And I've, they've looked it up on the CRT website type thing. And it says there are ducks, coots, moorhens, geese, swans, a plenty on our canals and rivers. As spring progresses, they will be looking out for the best nesting sites to incubate their eggs. It goes on, you can read about it and all the rest of it. But birds' nests and the law, all wild birds are protected, but some more than others. Section 1 of the Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981 states that it is an offence to intentionally take, damage or destroy the nest of any wild bird while the nest is in use or being built. That means it would be illegal to move the boat which hosts the occupying nest. Okay, so now let's look at the, the so what's. There's a water point just over there for what use that is because well it doesn't fill up your boat you could if you've got a spare day you can park there and fill up your boat and we're in Milton Keynes so actually shops aren't too far away and they have a van so they can go shopping so it's not too far from the water point they've got one of them rolly water thingies and they fill up their water tank well fill that up on a daily basis go to the pub if they want to and they have done for a Sunday car free. Apparently it's very nice. It's not too bad for solar when the sun's out. So not too far from water, not too far from shops. They're, they're young enough to be ha have that all accessible for them. But then what happens if you're in the middle of nowheresville or you're a couple of miles away from a water point? I don't know is the answer. It does say on this website Whilst it may seem like a wonderful thing to watch nature up close for a few weeks, as a boater, it can be a major cause of havoc and concern with your plans. The delay cruising for a couple of months, potentially ruin your holidays or leading to the cancellation of a dry docking booking, yeah, made months in advance. If you're a Liverpool boater, it could be even worse leaving you seeking alternative accommodation for the duration once your water tank is empty or your toilet tank is full and depending on the location of the nest being unable to run your engine or generate power. So the onus according to this document is purely on you the boater. Now there's the trilogy of components there's the moral component, physical component and conceptual component in, this is my view. The conceptual component is writing out all this stuff and putting it on the website so we are able to understand and mitigate for all these problems that we may have. There's a the physical component, fixing the waterways and making it enable us to, to navigate. But then there's the moral component. So if there's an old boater, where does CRT stand in all this? It wouldn't take much for them to deliver some water. It wouldn't take much for them to deliver a generator. It wouldn't take much for people to, to do stuff in support of the wildlife bird, in support of the boater, take them shopping every couple of weeks or something. I don't know, I'm just thinking, it does appear at first glance that CRT say, oh well, tough. There we go, can't move, unlucky. But do they do more? I don't know and I'm going to ask a question of CRT because being part of this navigation advisory group if they're not doing that well should they the moral component in my mind suggests they should do something other than just leave it to you anyway that's my thoughts um, let me know in the comments box if you agree if you disagree if you know the answer if it had it done to you and what was your or you know it's done to somebody and what was your experience let me know i'd like to stay here and watch the um 
watch the birdie hatch, watch the chicks. But at the same time, I don't like noisy pubs. So I'll be moving on tomorrow. Boaters facilities, maximum stay one hour. So it could be argued that you can fill your water tank in an hour. I doubt it. And the reason why I say that, I've got a 500 litre water tank. I think that sign should say half a day. And if you've got a thousand litre water tank, well, you'd be here all day. Now you can argue that down at Fenny Stratford, far better water point, but what's the point of having a water point if you can't fill your tank up in the time that's been allocated? So I'm at Pear Tree Visitor Moorin. If you want to spend all day at the water point, although you're only allowed to spend an hour really, then this is ideal because the houses here are actually quite nice. And you've got better solar this side. But CRT is if you're ever listening to my channel, if you ever watch my channel, then see if we can sort this water point out. That'd be great, actually. Or tell us the reason why it's crap. That would also be great. That water point, I did a quarter of a tank in an hour. That's, I got a 500 litre tank, so it's 125 litres in an hour. So if you were a wide beam with a thousand litres, um, yeah, it'd take you all day. Milton Keynes is quite a good place and it is one of those places which offers an awful lot. Um, and those fun runners, park runners, runners, regardless of, of um, how good they were, kind of inspired me a bit. And next time I go through Milton Keynes, I'm going to do that park run. I'm looking around the boat and I'm seeing, I want to see some home improvements and I've got some picture frames and I'm going to put some pictures up. And once I've got the boat squared away and how I want it and how I like it, because it's taken me a while to understand where I want stuff. I just didn't put pictures up willy nilly. The bonus about having frames is the fact that you can, well, change the pictures. And all the pictures I'm going to put up here are pictures that I've taken along the along the canal circuit even if the pictures look discuss average i like the idea of of at least that's where i'm gonna put them anyway enough of me waffling on next week next week are oh, bletchley park now that was an interesting place so i'm gonna sort of i went to see bletchley park and and there's also some some other things I, I took some photo. I, I will discuss Milton Keynes next week in general. Overview. Blanchley and uh, well, that's it for now. So thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, give it a go because I do stuff that, let's be honest, I'm just an old bloke. What's he, I bet people are saying, what's he doing this malarkey, this YouTube-y stuff? Until next time, ciao, papa.